Has your desk or workspace ended up looking such a mess like mine has? Well, stay with me for this unboxing. Here are the mainstay of what I use when I'm diamond painting. I've got lots of variety of different tools and they tend to end up being spread out on my desk. And I got a little bit fed up of not being able to put my hands easily on the correct diamond pen. So we're going to focus on the pens today and I'm going to show you some different storage ideas for those. Welcome to Stone Magpie and thank you for joining me. So here's a selection of the diamond pens that I've collected so far and um, I'm sick of having them just rolling around on my table. I ended up getting an old beaker that I had from an old picnic kit and propping them in here. And then I thought, you know, I am purchasing more expensive diamond pens for like these two here. And I feel that they're too special to have in this little tub all shoved together. So I started looking for some storage ideas. And this video will show you three different options that I came up with. So I'm interested to try those and see how it might work for me. They are all from Amazon. I will tell you the prices that I purchased them for. However, as we know, Amazon prices go up and down, they fluctuate. So you may be able to find them from a different seller for a different price, or the price might change even though I'm going to put the links in the description box. So do check those out if you're interested. The first solution I found was this one. And this is an acrylic pen stand and it comes in a pack of two and this is how it's delivered. So they were both in a pack like this. I put these two rods in the dip and I press them together and it feels quite sturdy. It'll be fine, I'm sure. I'll give it a quick measure. So from top to bottom, it is about 15 centimetres by um, six and a half centimetres. And as you can see, there are different holders. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six pens for this one. And of course, six for that one if you need more. So what I was thinking was, as I'm diamond painting, if I had my pens laid out, it would be easier for me to select which ones I need to use because I swap my pens to do my ABs or sometimes I just like to have a little change halfway through. <laughs> so I'm going to put my display stand next to me as I diamond paint. So let's see how sturdy it is. We'll start with this resin pen. Absolutely fine. This is my heaviest diamond painting pen from Say Pleur Beau so that sits well as well. Again, this is a mid-weight. Um, should we try all of the resin pens on there? So they all sit well. And I think if I was diamond painting, yeah, I can take those off. Yeah, that's fine. So we'll put on the basic pens. I think it might be an issue with the finger guard. So it's fine as long as the finger guard isn't on that dip bit. Hmm. I think you'd have to have a play. Have a play and see what you think. But it seems well balanced. They are staying on. It's fine and I think they'd be easy to take on and off. So I think that's quite successful. And um, yeah, I would definitely use that next to my diamond painting to select my pens. You may notice that I've got a couple of new pens here that I haven't really shown on camera before. So I've never used these. I do love this one with the little fishies and shells inside. And I got these two from Amazon. And I got this one from Say Plu Boato as well. And I've never used this one yet. Right, so I think that's a good one. We'll put that there. Next, <laughs> I just couldn't resist. I just honestly 
had to have these. Oh, by the way, did I say the price? They were £7.69 for two. £7.69. Right. I couldn't resist these next two. <laughs> they do make me laugh. So I hope that you think they're cute too. Look. <laughs> Let's have a closer look. Take them out of their little bag. Hello, little crabby. <laughs> look at these. Oh, I just thought they were so adorable and again they come in a pack of two you get a red and a blue <laughs> oh look and they've got their claws up ready to hold the pen for you <laughs> and because I've got my Shelley fishy pen I thought it would be perfect so let's put this guy down and see come on Yes, he can hold that one. <laughs> Let's see if they can hold a basic pen. Perfect. So there we are. If you want a little friend to hold your pens up for you, <laughs> you can have one. Oh, aren't they cute? I love that. So there we are. Yeah. I think he may need a bit of balancing. Let's try the rainbow one. Yeah, the rainbow one's fine. Let's try this resin one. Yeah, so they've held them, held them all so far. No problem. Oh, now let's try my heaviest pen. We'll put him on the red one. Ooh, yeah, he can hold that one and this is a heavier pen. Oh no, I don't know if Mr. Blue is as balanced as Mr. Red. Yeah, the red one can hold it. The blue one, I think, is probably a little bit more wobbly. <laughs> Come on, you need to do some muscle exercises. <laughs> what do you think? Do you think they're fun? <laughs> I think they're great. And they were £7.99 for two. I just had to, I just had to. Let's put you over there. So I think this is what my diamond painting is going to look like. At the side of the painting, I'm going to have these out. Let's measure one. Should we measure Mr. Red? <laughs> oh, so funny. So he is five centimetres by three centimetres by three centimetres. <laughs> there we are. If you know a cancer in your family, if you know somebody's a cancer star sign, perfect gift. <laughs> right, so we've done two lovely pen displays and we're coming to the last one now. This one is a bit more luxurious than those. <laughs> It came in this box with the foam inserts, so lots of protection, and it also came with this foamy protective sleeve. And this is very luxurious. <laughs> it has got a glass top, hence all of the protection. And I'm holding it like this because I think you may get a bit of reflection in that lid. There we are. You can see the leaves on my conservatory top. <laughs> Let's open the lid and get rid of that. So it is a wooden case with a glass lid and it's got some silver hinges. It's got the velvety type pen slots and it has a drawer underneath. So altogether, you would get 23 pens in this case. And what I thought was, because I'm getting the more expensive pens now in my collection, this would be a good storage to keep away. So um, if I wasn't using my pens as often, I could keep them very easily in here so that they're not getting knocked about. Um, Honestly, I would probably keep all of the pens I wasn't using in here and then just take them out when I was going to diamond paint. 
as you can see they sit really nicely in the box and um, you can just put them in when you finish diamond painting if you don't want to keep them on the displays. So I thought that was a really good solution. You probably have a lot more collectible pens than I do. So you may well want to fill up all of these slots with your beautiful collectible pens. I will get there. I am going to get it filled eventually. It might take me a long time, but I'm going to. <laughs> <laughs> so for now I probably wouldn't use the drawer I'd probably use it oh would I use the drawer not the lid I'm not sure we'll see how that plays out but isn't that fantastic I think it's a really luxurious thing to have for your pens and a really great gift idea if you know a diamond painter and you're never really sure what kit they might like for their birthday something like this would go down a treat I'm sure let's have a quick measure so this is 31 centimetres by 21 centimetres and I'll just pop the lid down to measure the depth by nearly 9 centimetres high. So as you can see with the lid down, if you've got your beautiful pens in there, you can see them, see them through. Um, this was on offer on Amazon when I bought it, so it cost me £29.59 and I think it was usually around about £40, something like that. So do have a look around on Amazon if you're interested in one of these because if this one is no longer on offer, there may well be others. And there we have it. Right, well I need to have... Mr. Crab holding one, and I need to put a couple on display. <laughs> Fabulous, absolutely brilliant. I love it. I absolutely love the selection that I chose. And I hope that you found this video useful too, to get some ideas of what you might like to do with your diamond pens. I hope it helped. I hope that you enjoy your own diamond painting and I do hope to see you next time. Take care everyone. Bye.